welcome back to another video so this video is gonna be my paycheck number two for the month of january and my pay date was the 22nd and i'm also gonna be doing my cash envelope and my sinking funds in this video as well i'm just throwing it all together and i hope you guys enjoy it and if you did please give me a thumbs up don't forget to share and subscribe and let's have a conversation in the comment section below so yeah guys so this is going to be my budget let me move this over so my income was 660 this is normally going to be my income for every two weeks and then uber eats i made 34 dollars woohoo i made 43 dollars and some change but of course we got to take our taxes so i made 34 dollars so my total for that was 694 dollars okay so giving normally you guys know that i will give a uh, tithe but i owe so much don't think don't get me wrong like if i have a dollar to in my pocket i will give it um once i get my credit cards down then i'll start giving and don't get me wrong right this is supposed to be first but i gotta get this debt down i don't know let me know if you guys think that makes sense or not because i still do give um uh my rent is 250 Remember, I'm breaking it down into two because I get paid every two weeks. So that's two fifty. Cable is seventy one. Cell phone is seventy five. This paycheck, and then Capital One fifty nine dollars and Freedom forty dollars and MTA is thirty three. So I had to add my MTA in here because I did it in the last two weeks. Um, yeah, I had to figure out where I was getting that money from because I didn't put it in my last budget. But you guys will see my closeout budget. Um, that will be coming out, I believe, the 31st. That should be coming out. So the total of my expenses is $528. So the remaining that I have left is $166. So what I did was I went into my cash envelopes and I put $10 for pet, household $10, miscellaneous $10. And then I went into my, oh, and that totals up to $30. Then I went into my sinking funds and I only did these here because i'm trying to do what's more important for the year um soon you'll be i'll be adding more in here because i have to do for my senior dudes for my daughter um and start putting in for college um so emergency fund i put in you're gonna see i'm gonna put in twenty dollars bet emergency twenty dollars christmas and black friday is gonna be zero because i still have money from christmas that I'm going to put in here. So this is not coming out my paycheck. Birthday and gifts is going to get $5. Home and move is going to get $10. Car is going to get $10. So that totals up to $65. And then savings, which I just put here future. Because I would put savings. But savings on top of savings, yeah. Sabrina, no. So I put uh, future, which is $25. Right? And then what happened was, I'm going to go here real quick. So this debt here is an extra debt payment, which I'm going to be doing $45. So that totals $45. Then I had a dollar left over. So what I did was I placed it here, which you see it says left over, and I decided to put that into savings. And there goes my zero base budget. I think I did amazing. So far, I've been doing really good with this budget. Like it's so crazy how me not showing my income kind of always do it all flash year and i was always wondering oh my god where i'm gonna get this money from because i was just doing cash envelopes and sinking funds right that's all you guys saw now that i actually have it on paper and i see it it's such amazing feeling because now i know where all my money is actually going and i can go always backtrack and say oh yeah i did this and i did that and i did this so be on the lookout for a closeout budget it's gonna be on the 31st or maybe sooner, but it should be out by the 31st. So let's get into the sinking funds and the cash envelope. So I have $121 here. And of course, I'm going into my binder, which is never give up. And then the first one is going to get, is going to be pet. Actually, pet is in my wallet. And guess what your girl did? She forgot that. So, oh, and I made a little chart. Check it out. 
I made this chart so I could see the, the, the breakdown on the amount of money I'm going to pay to all the dominations, I think it is. Right? I think I think I'm saying it right. So Pet is gonna get ten dollars, and I don't have my wallet, so that's gonna be here to the side. And then household is going to get ten dollars, and I think household is also in my wallet. I'm so sorry, guys. I am not prepared, and sorry for that. Ain't nobody perfect. Miscellaneous is <laughs> in my purse as well. I'm in my in my wallet, and I don't have it. I keep saying that, right? Okay, so emergency fund is going to be 20. That's in here. And it's right here. And then I'm going to count this at the end of the month when I do my closeout. And then vet emergency is $20 as well. Let me find vet emergency is right there. And that's going to get 20 as well. And... Birthday is going to get $5. Me, my cute little envelope sale. And home and move is going to get $10. Which, you guys, you know what? I didn't make that envelope. Hmm. So, you know what I got to do today, right? I have to make that envelope. Yeah, I was looking through here and I'm like, hello, Sabrina, you did not make that envelope. So, Home and Move is going to get $10. So, that's just going to sit here until I make that envelope. And then Car is going to get $10. So, that's going to get $10. And then Future, which is my savings, is going to get $26. I'd be excited. Because I'm telling you guys, these envelopes are life. If you haven't done a budget, please do. There's plenty of people out here doing budgets. And you're going to see how it helps out so much. So, yes, guys. So, this is my budget for my paycheck number two. And my cash envelope and sinking funds stuffing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And I'll be seeing everyone in my next video.